in some ways it feels surprising that Barbados, which has been called over the years Little England, has become a republic. It's probably not somewhere where outsiders might have associated that sentiment. You might have looked much more at countries like Australia and think that's where we expect that sentiment to grow to the point that Barbados is at now. There's always the undercurrent of resistance. No matter what society you live in, and no matter how compliant people appear to be, there's another kind of truth that will always be there, quiet perhaps, but persistent. And at some point, it's going to burst open. It was inevitable that people would just move towards the Republic and rejection of the very figurehead that they saw linked to oppression, deprivation, economic disenfranchisement. It was inevitable. 